Hello guys, I am back from another video and today which comes to was the embodiment of hope and despair. So, in the last video of Deku, well, basically, Izuku came back to, well, home after doing the, you know, the whole internship thing. So, after a while, they came back to school and also was told that they're going to be having a um, training camp as they go to the mall and basically just start getting all of their things for that. But they were also ambushed, specifically Zuko was ambushed by Shigaraki. And apparently Shigaraki told Izuku that he was replaced by a brand new leader of the League of Villains. And her name is... Give it up for... <laughs> Miss Momo Yayorozu. So basically Momo is now the leader of the League of Villains. So, after that, Izuku came back as he was not harmed, thankfully. So, after that, they basically go to the training camp as basically like the whole affair, except for Izuku saving everybody by creating a shadow dragon, specifically from Okumi. Okumi take over, like, take over Izuku's body for now and summoned out the big dragon to save everybody from being turned into literal cookies. Or should I say pancakes from being squashed down to the ground, thankfully. So, as they moved on, they basically came to the, the training camp, basically. As everybody started training, then they basically gone to sleep. Except for Izuku and well Todoroki. As they talked about why Okami was in love with her. Specifically, Todoroki. He explained that he's in love with her because of her emotions. Specifically, her personality. He felt happy when she's near him. And also for Okumi, he's the same thing. Okumi absolutely loved her for several reasons. Him and her were madly in love because of that. But apparently both, like, all of their classmates are basically betting if they kiss, they, they get money, and the other is basically the same but the opposite. So, after Okumi sees all of this, Okumi just basically told all of them to go back to their um, specific tents as they basically run away. Except for him and Todoroki. Todoroki kissed Izuku on the forehead, saying goodnight as Okumi was blushing all night because of that kiss. So yeah, so that's basically what happened last episode. So let's talk about what happens next. So Izuku woke up as he starts getting ready for training. After a while of training, they saw that the brand new class being class 1B arrived so they can train with class 1A. Class 1B wanted to talk to Izuku because of, well, his stature and also his talent as a celebrity and also being kind of an idol because of his concerts specifically. So, after talking to him a lot and also Bakugo and, well, Motoma basically fighting mostly because of their egotistical nature, it's finally time for a special event. Being the bravery test. So everybody was brought to an area where a um forest was held. Or the entrance of the forest is being held. Where they're gonna be doing the bravery test. So Izuku was told that he's going to be paired up with Todoroki. So after being told of this, they started going into the forest. So yeah. It's basically like the whole affair in like canon, but except with a different person being paired up with Izuku. So yeah, wait for a second. So, after Izuku goes into the forest with Todoroki, they started going into the path. So, Todoroki starts um, you know, wrapping her uh, like um hands onto Izuku's arm, as Izuku just says this. Um, Todoroki, why are you? As she says this. Um, I'm not really good at, well, being jump-scared, as Izuku just says this. Wait, really? 
As she says this, yeah, I don't really like getting jump scared. So, can you please just um let me stay over here? As Izuku just says this. Um, I mean, I am going to become a hero, so I should start acting brave. As Okumi just says this. Good, good. Mostly because, well, he's after all in love with Todoroki. So, after a while of like um, going around the forest, they see a little checkpoint. Being a red flag. As they captured that flag, as they start moving on. So, after another while, let's just say something happens. They hear fire. And this fire was blue. As Todoroki says this. Wait, that's... That's... As Izuku just says this. I'm guessing that's your brother's fire, right? As she says this. Yeah. Oh no. Don't tell me it's... As Izuku just says this. I think it might be the League of Villains. So, wait for a second. So... After um, they realize that the League of Villains have arrived, several re like League of Villains members and also some Nomu arrive, getting ready to kill all of the students. So, wait for a second again. One portal appears in front of them as Izuku sees the masquerade. As Izuku says this. So, Momo, why are you here? As she says this, Oh, I just came here for you, Izuku. <laughs> now, let's see. My brand new quirk was given to me by O for One. And I can't wait to use it. As she brings out her arm and puts it in Izuku's face. As something happens, Izuku just basically stops. Like, stops, like, um, like, Remembering, basically. Specifically, he feels something getting ripped from his body. As Izuku wakes up, Izuku sees somebody. As it's... Okumi. But, instead of being in like a reflection, instead, he's actually in the physical realm. Without Izuku... Uh, letting him take over his body. As Izuku just says this. Wait, Okumi? As Okumi says this. N no way. I'm. What is this? Is this a. Is this a dream? As they both touch each other. Izuku just says this. I think it's not a dream. As Todoroki says this. No way. Is. That really you, Okumi? As Okumi says this, no way. I'm free? As. Well, wait for a second. As Momo says this, <laughs> thanks to my brand new quirk, I call it, well, soul capture. It allows me to capture a human soul, or should I say, your other personality, Zuku. And. Thanks to my other quirk being my creation quirk, I'm able to make a another body for it. Thanks to that, I made another body for you, Okimi. Now, time to get my real prize. As she great like she creates a gigantic claw. As she starts bringing Izuku and capturing him, I meant capturing him. As Okimi says this, wait, Izuku. As Izuku just says this. Uh, one the, I'm the, as she says this. Now Izuku, now you're all mine. Now, for you, Todoroki, you can have your precious Okumi. I'll be here, having my little husband over here, my lovely Izuku. Now, see ya. Don't want to be ya. <laughs> now. Anyway, my other League of Villains members are going to kill the rest of those heroes, but I will gladly let you live, including you, Okimi. See ya. So, 
she basically disappears into the portal while Izuku was screaming for his life. So, now Okumi is now free. Free from that body. The same body as Izuku. He's now free to do whatever he wants now. But for now, Okumi is concerned about his other classmates. As Todoroki says this, No way. You're really here, Okumi. You don't have Izuku to... As Izuku just says this, or Okumi. Actually, I should just call him Okumi for now, now. I meant for now, because now they're separated being Izuku and Okumi. So, Okumi says this, Todoroki, we should just um, do something else, because we're completely concerned about our classmates, right? As she says this, oh, yeah, I forgot. So, they started moving out as they see the rest of their classmates, being attacked by Nomu and villains. So, Okumi starts creating knives. As these knives start tearing through the Nomus and the villains, the villains start escaping into the portals as... Several of his classmates say this. Oh, thank you, Izuku. I, I meant, um, you know, um, Okumi. As Todoroki says this. Alright, let's just call in our other classmates, or the teachers, or whatever. So, as the rest of the teachers arrive, being All Might and the rest of, like, the, um, you know, heroes, they start arriving as they start taking down the villains and start bringing them to, well, jail. Basically, but some of them escape and go back to the League of Villains um, hideout. So, after that, several of his classmates, well, were brought to the um, large cabin where the teachers are usually at. So, as one of the teachers, specifically, Aizawa says this, Hey, Okumi. Let Izuku take control this time, because we need to have a conversation with him. As Izuku just says this, or Okumi, I meant Okumi. As Okumi says this, well, that's the problem. As Aizawa just says this, what's the problem? As Okumi explains what happened, as everybody is shocked, including Bakugo, as Bakugo said this, wait, Yuzuka's captured by... by Momo? Oh, sh... As... Including the rest of his classmates are completely worried about what happened and, like, what's going to happen to Izuku. As... Okumi says this. I remember that... That Momo... Created... Or was given this quirk by All for One. Apparently, this quirk allows her to basically rip off the soul, and thanks to her second quirk, or original quirk, being that, you know, that creation quirk, she's able to put it in a different body and create another one for that, you know, soul. And because I was a second personality, being another soul or whatever, I was given a brand new body, being this. As everybody was impressed, but also terrified what they're gonna do, or specifically, Momo what is gonna do to Izuku. The true, um, like, actual, like, person in that body. The actual controller. So, as everybody was worrying about Izuku, All Might says this. Don't worry. Don't lose hope. We will save Izuku no matter what. Right, Okumi? As Okumi says this. You're right. Don't worry. We will save Izuku. My brother as they say this wait brother as Bakko said this finally you actually said it damn it's been a long time <sighs> you never really said that he was your brother though but I guess it's kind of correct as he as Okumi just says this Ugh. anyway Bakko wait for a second so let's just get ready as all Might says this, yeah, but we're currently not ready yet. Apparently some of the heroes, specifically the number the number 2 and 3, and the other 10 heroes, are currently 
busy right now overseas. Apparently there's some trouble there. As Okami says this. Damn it! As All Might says this. But don't worry. We have some help. Specifically from one of our, or should I say, three of our best. As Izuku just says this. I meant Okami. As Okami just says this. Who are your best? What do you mean by that? As he says this. Well, let me introduce you to the big three. As the big three arrive, being Murio, Nejri, and Tamaki. As they introduced themselves, as everybody was shocked. Because all of them already know about the big three, including Bakugo. Even though he doesn't concern like or talk about them all that much. But he is impressed of their power. As... Well... Wait for a second again. As Mirio said this. So, you must be Okami, Izuku's other personality, I believe. As Izuku just says this. I meant, um... Um... Okami. As Okami just says this. Ugh... Nice to meet you, I guess. As... Tamaki says this. Um, nice to meet you, you... Whatever you are. As Okumi just says this. Just call me, um, Okumi, or whatever. As Nedri says this. Nice to meet you. So you're the other personality of that famous idol? As is you I meant, um, um, Okumi just says this. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, whatever you are. As she says this. Just call me Nedri. As Izuku slash... Actually... I meant... For a second. I meant Okami. God dang it. As Okami just says this. Um, nice to meet you, I guess. As Todoroki starts getting a bit jealous. As... Um... To I meant, um, Okami just says this. Um... Um, don't think of it as anything, um, Todoroki, as she says this. Okay, but if you dare try and cheat on me, I will freeze you. As, um, Okumi just says this. Um, don't worry, I won't cheat on you. I mean, I am, you know, forever in love with you. As she starts blushing, as she says this. Oh, I'm really sorry for doubting you. As they both apologize, as one of them... Being Mirio said this. So, I can't believe the number two hero's um, daughter actually likes this guy. As Nedri says this. I mean, yeah, he's basically the other personality of that famous idol, Izuku Midoriya. As Tomiki just says this. Um, yeah, or whatever. So, after introducing them, they decide that they're going to be trading a lot. So they can try and save Izuku, no matter what. So, after that, they decide to go home after this. The, um, you know, the school was, um, telling all of the parents about what happened last time during the training camp, including, you know, wait for a second, Inko, as when Inko saw Okumi instead of Izuku, she was sad. As she just hugs Okumi, as she says this, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I can do I should stay right there. As Okumi just says this, ah, do I really have to say it? As Okumi just says this, don't worry, Mom. I will save, brother, whatever. As she says this. You're really going to save him? As Okumi just says this. Yeah. I promise. I will save him no matter what. So. After telling her this. Izuku. Or Okumi. Actually just call him Okumi. I keep saying Izuku. I guess it's just hot wired in my brain right now. So, 
Okami starts going back to his bedroom. Or should I say, Izuku's bedroom. So, after going into his bedroom, Izuku... I met Okami. Seriously, what the heck happened to me? Uh, anyway, Okami goes to bed. So, the next day comes as everybody starts looking at Okami. Because they were also told of what happened. Including that they're going to be training a lot. So they can try and save Izuku. Everybody started like consoling. Or at least talking to Okami. Saying that they're really sorry what happened. Like to what happened. So even the media also like um, was told of this. As every single company started well. Uh, like um, associated with like Izuku's like image. Started getting worried. As they started asking Okami if they can, well, make him a replacement for Izuku. But Okami doesn't want to, mostly because he's not experienced in, like, you know, that type of thing. So, after he gets to class, everybody was silent. Not talking. Because of what happened last time. So, Izuku... I should, I sh I should say, I said, I should, I should, what is wrong with me? I, I should say, Okami, god dang it. So, Okami just sits down as All Might arrives, as he tells everybody that they're going to be training a lot this time. So, they were brought to... Another facility being the being the um, training area where they first had their hero versus villain battle. So Okami starts training with the rest of his classmates. The rest of his classmates couldn't try and fight the, like Okami because of his well brutal and mostly like savage type fighting style. Mostly just going down on his like um like almost down to the ground and using his like um knives to start slashing at them while using his claw and also creating black chains in battle just imagine the black chains being like um um like gilgamesh's like chains from like um fate grand order basically looking like that so after a while of training they hear an alarm this alarm was urgent because apparently somebody or something was in the premises. So, wait for a second. So, after being alerted, all of the heroes and the teachers started moving towards the like the entrance of UA. So, apparently they saw another villain. Specifically two. One of them is Momo and the other is Izuku. After Okumi was heard, or at least like heard of that, or that thing, or heard of that, like um, announcement, Okumi started charging towards the um, entrance of the school, and he sees Izuku, but different. Every time when he creates crystals, it's not blue. Instead, it's a dark blood red. His eyes became the opposite color. It became a little bit more purplish, like his colors, like, like literally the opposite colors of his original, like, um, you know, color scheme. It's basically swapped. His crystals are now red, while his eyes are completely purple. His clothing looks like the clothing of, like, um... The clothing of Akechi from like Persona 5 Royal specifically. The one that is where he basically becomes like his true self. The one that looks like he literally looks like a prison. He looks like he has like a prison outfit basically. Like the one where he has like this creepy crow like mask. Like the one that's made out of metal. So that's what Izuku looks like now. As Okumi just says this. Izuku. What happened to you? As... Izuku is laughing and laughing as he says this. Oh, hey Okami, 
It's been a long time. <laughs> so, me and my honey over here are just having a bit of fun terrorizing this whole city. Me and my wife over here have made an army. An army that will destroy this, this disgusting world. This disgusting society filled with greedy people. Come on. After all, I am the embodiment of hope. Hope that the villains would rule this world. <laughs> As Okami just says this. What? I thought you're supposed to be embodiment of hope. As he says this. That's what I said. I am the embodiment of the destruction now. The destruction of all heroes. I am the destruction of heroes. <laughs> I am the embodiment of hope. The embodiment of hope for the villains to win this this war. <laughs> As Okimi says this, enough the bullshitting. Now, pay! As he starts charging towards him, but the crystals are more harder. Maybe the same structures as diamonds, or even, well, hardened steel, like Damascus. Not really like Damascus, even though it's kind of strong, I guess. It's more like it's really strong. When Okumi tries to slice it, it doesn't work. It basically drops him back to the ground, as Izuku just kicks him through the back, like, kicks him right in the back. As he goes down to the ground, as he says this, Oh, come on! Do you seriously think that you can actually beat me? I am the original personality. You're just a cheap imitation. As Okumi says this, No. Go back to your senses, Izuku. What happened to you? Are you... Wait a minute. You're just being controlled. You're just brainwashed. Izuku, go back to your- as he says this. No. I am not brainwashed. I just got... a bit of help. I... was just tricked by these heroes. These heroes that think of themselves as just... you know... heroes. When they're nothing more than hypocritical bitches. That only care about his money and fame. It makes me sick. And that is why, I'm gonna kill them all. And then, after that, I will rule with my, with my wife at my side. And you, crumbling to the ground, right next to your so-called lover, Todoroki. It makes me sick. Now, as he was getting another call, as he goes to his ear and taps on it, as he says this, what is it, Dobby? As he starts humming to himself, as Okumi says this, what is he talking about? As he says this, I'm talking about, well, Izuku, or at least the more chaotic Izuku, which I'm calling, um, altered Izuku. As Izuku just says this, hmm, sorry, but I think we're done here. As, well, wait for a second. As Momo said this. So, we're done. As he says this. Right, we're obviously done. Don't worry. Dobby has the device. As she says this. Good. So, they disappear in black smoke. Made by Konegiri. After that. After everybody seeing... Izuku turned into this mind-controlled slave. Well, let's just say Okimi became mad. He became angry as he says this. <sighs> Momo Yayorozu! You. You did this. As Todoroki comes towards Okimi, as Okimi said this, uh, Taroki. As she says this, don't worry. We're gonna save Izuku. We promise. As Bako said this, 
Yeah, don't worry. I'm going to be the one that's going to help Izuku, including you. Right, guys? As one of them being... Kirishima says this. Yeah, don't worry, bro. We'll help you out. As everybody said this. Yeah, don't worry. We'll save Izuku. Together. As Okimi sighs. As he says this. You're right. We're gonna save Izuku. We're gonna save my brother. And bring him back to me. And bring him back to his senses. Right, guys? As everybody says this. Right. So, this will be the end of the episode. And I hope you liked the video. Comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.